Today I'm hoping to follow this uh, Garmin. I'm not 100% sure how to do this, so I'm going to try. Okay, so let's hit start. It's downloading. Okay, this is a replace current route. Sounds good. Navigate to the beginning of the course, which sounds good. All right, so let's see how it works so far. All right, we want to get to assist one. So, a little slightly overcast. Once again, we're supposed to hit 105 today, but it's overcast. So, how's it going to do that? And I guess the sun's going to come out eventually. I did see a little sign saying it's going to have lightning all day, with greater chances as the day goes on. So uh, we'll see. Okay, so we made it across. I think we're on the route according to how the route's set up. I'm not looking at going fast, so right now we're just going nine miles an hour. Mainly trying to see if I can follow this route, so I'm not sure what speeds I should go, but we're going to start off with a slow speed. See how I handle these turns. Now, right now, it says that 0.1 miles, or 0.1 T, what's a T? Oh, I guess T probably means turn. Okay. Now, it gives me a little countdown, 500, 400. I'm going to try to do this mirror just slight adjustment see behind me a little better I like the fact that it lets you see behind you you can see the side too because it's uh, one of those mirrors that changes the way things look so it distorts them but wow look at that mailman delivering didn't know they deliver so early Okay, so this says I should continue straight, so... Huh. Alright, looks clear. We got some people out for a walk. Right now, this is fairly te good temperature. It's only like, it's like 82. I didn't get any warnings out of the Garmin today. <laughs> I'm trying to have this as being a routine of some sort, so with uh, getting up and having my exercises, I'll get up and do about 30 minutes of stretching and a little bit of exercising during that period of time. It's mainly for stretching. Uh, I found a YouTube channel that says that if you do these exercises, 
Oh, I guess this is where I'm supposed to turn. Uh, this person's having a tough time going. I'm having a tough time <laughs> driving that slow. <laughs> What's with people? She must have just woke up and can barely move. I'm not sure she should be driving if she can barely move. So we got looks like one of her lights are out. Brake lights. Probably didn't even know that. go move down all right so what this tells me is I need to turn left and we'll try not to fall for it like I did last time where I turned right immediately we need to go down to the next street and I have a bike right this time route bike route kind of cool but I won't stay on the sidewalk because I went ready to turn. <sighs> All right, then it says, what should I do? If I like the way it's talking, it says that I need to turn right. All right, I guess that's point half a mile ahead. I'm just coasting down the hill going 21. Now my bike says I'm going 21. The uh, Garmin says, uh, uh, now it says I'm going 21. It's behind it a little bit. Nice neighborhood. Everybody's got good, pretty good yards. Got a few people with flags still out. From the 4th of July. All right, so you're saying that I should turn pretty soon here. Oh, cat. Cat, you're in the middle of the road. Don't be trying to attack me. It's not good to be in the middle of the road, cat. Okay, so this says I should turn on this road, which I will. <sighs> Morning. scared me. I thought that was a car of some sort going by me. It's just somebody cutting a yard. Wait. Oh yeah, that's right. So here I'm going out. And I want to switch the other side of the road. No cars coming. And this time we actually are going to go down this way. I 
I had two choices when I was planning this route. One was to go down a road that's 35 miles per hour. Not that bad traffic, but still I had to ride the middle of the road, slow traffic up, or come out here where there's more traffic. Well, not this early in the morning, but normally there's more traffic. Uh, but I have a sidewalk, so I decided to go with a route with the sidewalk so that uh, less chance of getting hit. <laughs> I use my brakes almost constantly. This is crazy. I wonder what this hill is going to be like trying to come back. Well, actually, I'm coming back a different route, so... Getting whacked in the face by all these things. And even a limb. <laughs> you don't have a way to slow down on a bike. You're coasting, you just go whatever speed you go. <sighs> well, that was a pretty big hill, but... To try to keep it under 25 was really tough. And I'm not keeping it under 25 for any particular reason other than I get scared if it's greater than 25. I was a little, had a little bit of adrenaline even at 25 because uh, oh, trees whacking me in the face. Okay, so this way here, I'm supposed to go uh, 0.3 miles further down. So let's do that. That shopping center there is a, uh, uh, Nice little neighborhood shopping center. I'm still coasting downhill for the most part. I'm pedaling, but coasting. <laughs> so one of the things you get when you're riding on a sidewalk is whacked by tr trees reaching out to the sidewalk. And bushes. All right, so tram roads upcoming. That's going to be at the light, obviously. And this turns into a neighborhood, so it should not be a major road, I don't think. I see this road all the time, but I don't ever go on it because I don't have a reason to. Nothing I do is down this road. Okay, so this tells me that I need to turn left. So let's do that. I guess you can hear that train, it's pretty loud. Doesn't look like any cars are following me. So it looks like I should turn down here. I should look around. I'm trying to, to watch the uh, speed and the traffic, not watching where I'm going. Now part of this ride Man, we're going downhill all the time. That means I'll be going uphill all the time on the way back. Bummer. We should be going up and down, up and down, not just down all the time. Basically been coasting the whole time because I don't need to pedal, just <laughs> nothing's going on but downhill. All right, according to this, I need to turn here. Now we're going uphill, finally. Are right, we going uphill as soon as we turn? Oh, nice steep hill, too. <sighs> One of these pedal assists comes in really handy. Don't have to wear myself out <laughs> driving up the hill. Now, I plotted this route 
using Commute and was able to download the route after I plotted it on my computer to my phone. So I've never actually been on this route and I don't know what it's really gonna look like. I was just trying to see if I can look at big gigantic hill again. Yeah, it's gonna hurt if I fall. <laughs> so let's try not to fall. All right, it says it should go left. Wow, seeing all sorts of things I've never seen before in my life. One thing you're getting with the bikes is you get to go places you never would normally have gone. I have no reason to be in this neighborhood except for the fact that I'm just riding along. I'll probably come back this way, at least part of the, of the trip. I actually created a little bit of a loop so that I'm not just going back the same way always. All right, so what I was looking at was whether or not I could actually go down here. And it looks like it is possible. Let's get to assist one because I don't want to be going very fast. I thought I could probably Is that a camp spot? The map didn't show that there was an actual way to get in here. I was just thinking, you know, it looks like this would be a good place to go if I could actually get into it. Oh, people. I have other people it looks like here too. I think what I want to do is just go ahead and leave. So now that I know that I can do this, I might have this as a plan for some future trip. Disc off. Oh. I used to do that when I was in college. Quite a long time ago. Oh, they're going the same way I was looking at. Let me run down here for a little bit then. give those people time to get off the bridge so I don't have to hit them. <laughs> well, I wouldn't hit them anyway. <laughs> that wasn't like an option. Uh, they get off the bridge or I hit them. Huh? That's not going to happen. I just had to stop. Uh, oh yeah, there's one of the, the frisbee things. I haven't seen many of the frisbee things. I've just seen that one. Uh, there's another one coming up. Uh, yeah, I used to win all of our little tournaments there and, and well, not all of them. Uh, our fraternity used to go out and uh, do frisbee golf. And uh, uh, that's when I actually learned how to do actual golf. Went out uh, not too long after doing some frisbee golf. I joined the, uh, a class for golf and went out and actually uh, started golfing. Entered a uh, tournament for amateurs, which I had been, because I've only been playing about uh, two months when I entered a tournament. Won that tournament and then moved on to the um, tournament where the um, better people play. <laughs> and uh, 
my round one, I beat the guy who won the tournament the year before. And then I lost the next round. But <laughs> so that was a highlight of my uh, my career. Let's see if we can get out of here now. Oh yeah, there's a frisbee thing over there. So even the oh, so that that sign there that I thought was a campsite was a tee off area for the frisbee. Interesting. We're in all sorts of stuff. All right, okay, so we did the little deviation. We back on track, is this thing gonna work? They're still saying make a U-turn, although I'm not supposed to make a U-turn now. All right, so it looks like this is, wait, am I off course? I'm on course, aren't I? Why do you want me to make a U-turn? Uh, no, we don't want to stop the current course. So I'm having a little bit of problem figuring out what it wants me to do. Why can't it get caught up? Uh, I don't understand. Uh, it looks like it wants me to go straight. So I don't know why it's saying U-turn. So it's confused now. Apparently it didn't like me taking that trail and now it doesn't know what to do. Ah, it's giving me a, uh, a route again. Yay, finally. That takes a very long time for it to re-figure out what's going on. Stop ahead, okay. Guess they must have had trouble with people running stop signs. Unheard of. Oh, I see a, uh, a street that's a little busier than normal. And I'm turning on to it. Apparently. I don't know, the, the car that went down it was going pretty fast, but uh, it just looks like a normal street. All right, I don't see anything different about this street. I wonder if there's a street sign somewhere telling me how fast people go on this street. Once again, we're coasting. Once again, it's gonna be uphill on the way back. <laughs> Bummer. Oh, I was supposed to go on that road. All right, let's turn. So you can see I still have a little bit of learning to do on how to follow directions. <laughs> I'm not as bad as some people, but uh, definitely not as good as I need to get. The Commute app, what it does is allow me to pl plan the route on the computer, and it helps. Uh, it gives you a lot of suggestions. You click where you want to go and it draws some, it figures out a route, and you just look to see if you want to take that route. And if you don't want to take the route, you can 
move the line in the middle to pick a different direction and then it redoes the route using that particular road. So it was actually fun going through trying to figure out how to how to keep me on these side streets and not go to any major roads. And then after you finish calculating it or finishing it, you end up uh, exporting it to the GPS. And then uh, in my case, I mean, that's one choice that you can have to export it there. The other case that you have is that you can save it. And then in Garmin, they have an app, a Komoot app. And you can go into your commute app and then download the route from that app. And it seems to work. See, it's giving me directions and everything. Haven't checked to see if it's giving me the elevation that I need. But uh, what it's doing is pretty cool. All right, this thing here says I need to turn right. So let's see if I can slow down enough and turn right. Good morning. All right, so I've got to turn right here. So I see a lot of walkers through here. I haven't seen any other bike riders yet. I would like to see some other bike riders. But maybe we're not a very bike riding type city. going downhill again this is a story like the opposite story of what you normally get which is I had to go downhill both ways to get home <sighs> this was like this would be fun to, fun to have done Play basketball here well when I was younger probably not so much fun now if I just get injured all right according to this I should turn left here Kind of interesting how this all works. I think I'm going to end up liking this Garmin. I do know I like to commute. Um, it's actually free. Everything I'm doing right now is free, but I feel like I need to pay for it. You know, if you start using something, uh, I've just always been in the mood that if I start using something and it becomes helpful, pay for it. And, uh, I think this is helpful. This seems like a good app. Now, one of the things it doesn't have on it, and so I have to use a different app for it, is uh, a way to see, well, there might be a way, I just don't know what it is yet, uh, to see the, from the satellite view, to see what it looks like. I mean, it'll show you the road, but you really don't know what it actually looks like. So I have to, whoa. I have to go back and pick that up. <sighs> Lost a water bottle. All right, so where did this water bottle come from? Oh, so it was the one in the back. Oh, and that explains why I need to uh, tie it down. Okay. Yeah, let me put it in here. I'll figure out how to tie it down later. All right, all these things to learn. <sighs> Once again, new things to learn. One thing that's happened since I started here is I try to learn new things every day anyway, but I, I seem to be learning like five or six things a day now. Uh, that, that's a few more than normal.
right. Once again, of course, I'm coasting downhill. <laughs> And like, how is that possible? Every time you talk, you talk about coasting downhill. Is it because it seems like it's all I'm doing is coasting downhill. Although not now, look at this, this is a big hill. All right, time for a big hill. All right, let's see how it works. Now, I told you that when I was making this, I was trying to make it so that it became a round trip. And the way you do that in Kamut, or at least the way I did it, is first you start off with a one-way trip. <laughs> uh, which I did. I started off as a one-way trip. And then when you finish calculating the one-way, you hit round trip. And then once, oh look, there's something up there. To my left, Wildlife Conservatory. That'll be something to check out one day. Anyway, uh, then once you start your round trip, let's see, it says I should turn. Uh, it then, re it calculates it. Not necessarily using the path you used to get here, it just recalculates it. And then you do the same thing that you did to get here, is that you make a little modif minor modifications to the route to equal what you want it to do. Jeez, I'm not a big fan of going really, really fast. All right, so it wants me to turn again. In this case, I believe I want to switch and get on the other side of the lump. What does it want me to do? Uh, I think I want to go straight. Uh, let me go down here. This is a semi-busy street. Speed limit 35. I plan to be on it just a short period of time. That sidewalk there doesn't look very possible to be on. This one doesn't look so bad. I was hoping from my distance I could make it underneath this tree, but it's really uh, close. Okay, I'm looking at this, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going. But it says in 500, I'm supposed to be changing my mind. So that road wasn't too bad. That was a pretty safe road to be on. That portion of it anyway. Oh, my legs are getting tired. One advantage of having an electric bike, your legs get tired, I guess you could always switch <laughs> to throttling and just relaxing. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to continue to try. 
maybe take a break. Whew. Definitely uphill. Uh, my thighs are burning. <laughs> I've used them so much. Uh. Now, I realize that for most people, their thighs would not be burning at this point, but I remember I'm pretty much out of shape. Not pretty much, definitely. Hopefully this will help me get, get in shape. Shadow mist. All right, let's do it. Oh, come on, you can make it. Up the hill. Okay, I'm ready for some downhill action now. I know I've been complaining about it, but I can change my mind, right? There, going to full speed. Or at least my full speed. Which you can see is nearly 30. All right. There we go. Made it back home. Let's get this cyst down. Woo! That was kind of a fun sprint to end it. I believe I saw 30 there at one, mo one moment. I'm not sure how much of that was downhill. I'll have to go back and look. It probably was all downhill, otherwise how could I have gotten up to 30? <laughs> okay, another successful trip. Only problem is water ball falling out of its holder. Because I guess I need to tie it down or something. So, something new to learn. <sighs> I'll see everybody next time.